Alright, so we're going into Tilted Towers here. I'm gonna try and land on this far rooftop. Try and get a gun and get whoever's whoever's landing with us here. Uh, pretty laggy. And looks like he's gonna get the gun, so we're just gonna die. And, uh, alright. That's a great way to start the day. <laughs> Since I've been back from college, it's been gang shit, and I'm just a lot of gang shit. These my niggas that I came with. What's up everyone, my name is Sobo and this is Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, today I'll be bringing you guys an educational commentary about how to fully buff up and this is mainly related to stamina characters and specifically stamina nightblades. Now I know a lot of you guys on my last video uh, with regards to my build really enjoyed it but there were also a few who either thought that I was wasn't being trustworthy and honest or those that were just confused as to how I get my fully buffed up stats so today I just wanted to make this video to kind of explain myself and maybe teach you guys a thing or two I think if you are a new player you'll definitely learn a lot from this and even if you're a veteran you might learn a thing or two so um, stick around and if you guys do learn something um, definitely drop me a like and you know let me know what you learn see what's cool um, and then another thing right before we get into this, uh, the next video that I'll be posting is either going to be of my uh, Stamina Nightblade or uh, Stamina Warden, and I kind of wanted to do something a little bit different in the sense that um, I'm going to be uploading whatever you guys want to see, so um, whichever, you know, either Stamina Nightblade or Stamina Warden, whichever gets more comments in the comment section of this video, that video will be posted first. And on top of that, I do have a new build for my Stamina Warden, so if that video does go up first, then afterwards I'll be posting a build video for that character. Um, but without any further ado, I'm just going to get into explaining how I buff up. So starting off, uh, you can see we're here at this resource. Um, the biggest thing here is Continuous Attack. This buff occurs when you capture an enemy resource or keep and this gives us um, stamina and magicka recovery as well as weapon and spell damage which is pretty nice um, as you guys can see right here I'm just kind of showing off the stats the different buffs that I have um, we do have Emperor in this campaign uh, you can see we have um, our full set that um, I showcased in the build video previously um, this is almost a fully buffed campaign I tried to wait to get the maximized stats we don't have we are missing one offensive scroll so um, I can actually get my weapon damage which um, will be shown at the end I can actually get that up an additional five percent and um, where we're at is approximately uh, like 300 or 400 uh, weapon damage on top of what you'll see so that's how we will end up reaching around uh, 6.5k weapon damage. Um, but so now that uh, we have continuous attack, we're going to the next resource, and I'm just going to try to um, try to find an enemy or two to um, get fully buffed up. And as you can see, um, the buffs that we have active on our bar or that we can activate are Rally, Relentless Focus, and then Back Bar we have uh, Shuffle, Cloak, and Leeching Strikes. Um, we will be switching a few skills around and um, in order to actually fully optimize your weapon damage for stamina characters you actually want to use a bunch of fighter skilled passives uh, or you know active abilities because the passive ability for fighter skilled gives you an extra three percent weapon damage so you'll see this is what we're doing here um, we still need to keep rally on our bar to um, you know to fully buff up with uh, major brutality but um, in the original video I had I think just under 5.5 K weapon damage or it might have been like 5.6 K weapon damage one of the two and um, and that was without any sort of fighter skilled abilities other than um, Evil Hunter or Expert Hunter. 
I just swapped Relentless for that and then put Relentless on the back bar instead of Leeching Strikes. And that's how I got the crit that I had on the, um, the showcased fully buffed stats. So that's why a lot of people were saying, oh, I'm still running um, Bone Pirate Huntings. It's actually not true. Um, I just swapped an ability out. Um, but so here, you can see we've done Rally, we've done Relentless Focus, Shuffle, um, and once again, um, you can see these are still, this is still the gear that I showcased. Um, we're just kind of messing around at this point. Now in order to fully buff, the combination that you're going to want to have is you're going to want to have Continuous Attack, and then you're going to hit your Rally um, for Stamina Nightblades. Just swap to your back bar and then hit your relentless focus shuffle and then you want to swap back to your two hand bar and kill an enemy with the two handed um, sword and then once you do that you're going to want to swap back to your bow bar hit a light attack go into cloak and then swap back to your two handed bar and that's where you'll see your fully buffed stats now, I know that was a mouthful, that was a lot of information, so um, for those of you who don't know what I just said, you can either rewind it or I will do a full demonstration here. Um, this is a post-commentary, so um, at this point I'm just uh, waiting for when I grab another enemy. Um, and yeah, and then this is uh, just going to show you guys exactly how to reach your fully buff stats and you guys will see I reach um, over 6k weapon damage with this like I said I can have an additional 5% um, on top of that which will end up uh, getting me to 6,500 but then on top of that I have 3,000 stamina recovery and 40,000 stamina so um, in my build video I could have actually had more stats um, or higher stats than I showcase so uh, yeah but unfortunately that guy just reset so we're going to have to do this all over again, which is kind of a pain, but it's worth it because I'm here to just show you guys exactly how to work it. Um, so at this point, we're just trying to keep our buffs up. We need to get one of these um, enemies off of us because we only want two. We'll see why in a second. Okay, so now that we have these two guards, um, we basically just need to get one down extremely low to the point where just one light attack will kill him. And at the same time, we want to have all of our buffs up and active while we do this. This is going to give us optimal um, stats. We also are running tri potions, and for this video specifically, I am a vampire. Um, I've been testing a few things with um, ganking and... Um, Vamp is just good for that. So here we just got a two-handed kill. We're going to light attack, go into cloak, and then show our stats. And as you can see, we have 40k um, stamina, 3k um, stamina recovery, and over 6.1k weapon damage. And like I said, we can get that an additional 5% higher with uh, another scroll. So with that in mind, we can actually reach over 6,500 weapon damage with this exact build that I did showcase on my channel previously. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it down in the description below, so definitely check that out if you haven't already. But like I said, this is the bonus that we are getting. That Slayer passive for the Fighter Guild gives us an additional 15% weapon damage, and then on top of that, the Flawless Stormbreaker gives us an additional 5% weapon damage on top of that. Now here, just really quickly, I'm going through my CP and showing you guys exactly what I rock. Um, and we are in an almost fully buffed campaign. But yeah, guys, that's about it. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and do subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.